What's up, you chuckle fucks? It's your boy Dark Raku here with What If Raikou and Singular were in the Endless and Shadow Part 25. Yeah, long series. Okay, wait, let me uh, pause it for a second. I am here with the man, the legend, that uploaded like two days ago. Shut up, bro. I'm, I'm working. Oh, don't worry. Don't worry. I'm still thinking oh, about Oh, wait. The, uh, that was yesterday. Huh? Yesterday was two days ago. This is today, three days ago. I don't think it overall matters, but okay. Anyways. <clears throat> uh, so, yeah. So, yeah, we are here, and, uh, yeah, we go into Dante's POV. Yeah, um, I was currently right now, uh, in front of a, a tim, a, a tim, intimidated person, I was like, nice to see you, long time to see Gaia. Uh, what do you want me to say? You want me to talk for her, or? Sure, yeah. Wait, is it? Wait, no, shit, not her, him. Cause you keep confusing me. The fact He's that the same guy who gets bullied by Toji. And also me. Yeah, for some odd reason. Yeah, I like bullying people. Other than that, we'll be getting to mostly Gaia speaking. Uh, hey, Dante. So, uh, I just wanted to <clears throat> come and talk to you. Do you want to babysit today? Uh, what do you mean babysit? Babysit my children. And Raikou's children. Uh, Raikou? This is where I come in walking through. Of course, I definitely did get a new look and went... I was like, so, uh, <clears throat> yeah, my children also. Don't worry, Toji's not going to be there. Okay. All right. <clears throat> um, okay, uh, um, let me guess. Are these monsters just like you two? Like, in power-wise? Yeah. Probably. This is where one of my children, who actually already became a somewhat teenager, kind of acts like a better teenager, kind of says, yo, pops, you just follow along. He's like, well, why is there a whole universe in that kid's hair? I mean, there's also a universe in my hair. Oh, no, the kid wanted to also have kind of universe, universe kind of hairstyle. Yeah, you really don't have a choice. Either if if you say no, I'm gonna let a wild Toji go find you. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and then you know, one of my kids come out of the portal and says, "So is this the guy you was trying to get? What the heck? Okay, is this the guy you were trying to get?" Mm. He then looks him up and down and says, "I'm not too impressed." I mean, I can sense this guy has a lot of power, but on this planet, though. But I guess also, I guess also outer space, but mm, mainly just revolves around the planet. Doesn't he just have periodic table manipulation? I didn't say it's lit. It's literally he, he controls elements of the planet, and yes, periodic table too. Hmm. Hey, he then puts a blade to his neck and says, give me gold or die. He's like, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> this is where my kid kind of says, is that easy to make money? Hey, 
if I if you don't give me uh, uh let's see, what do I need exactly? This is where my kid is saying, hmm. Oh, a comfy bed. I'm going to summon Toji here. He's like, I control minerals, not yarn. Get that from animals. Too bad. Give me a bed. I'm tired. What bed do you want me to make out of rocks? <laughs> this is where well, the kid is saying, Dad, he's not giving me a bed. Can we summon Toji? I don't no, 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 okay, 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 I, I will get you a bit. He then goes to a store, creates gold, and literally buys a hundred of them. This is where, well, the kid now falls asleep. Like, what, what, why are you burdening me some for something he can easily ask me gold for? This is where I look at him and say, don't ask me, that's just my kid. That's how he acts. And then, you know, my kid then puts, a, puts something to his neck and says, Okay, I'm going to need some diamonds. Really? Uh, okay. He then makes some freaking diamonds. Say, so, okay. <clears throat> Anyways, that's what I was uh, going to do anyway. Uh, yeah, me and Rick, we're gonna go. Um, we're gonna teleport into our houses. Have fun. Y'all, y'all be nice. Told you so over there, just saying. I'm also here as a babysitter. Wait, what the? I thought you said he wasn't here. Where did they go? This is where, well, I say, I didn't invite him here. That could have been Junko. Well, good luck with that. At least you have someone else to help you with the kids. Nah, you don't bully me. Told you, says, hey, don't worry, dude. I'm not going to hurt you. Not with these kids kind of having me, well, mostly in trouble. Well, not trouble. Mostly uh, taking care of them. So don't worry. Maybe later I'll hurt you. And then, you know, one of the little kids come behind and says, Um, Uncle Toji. Uh, yes, little one. <clears throat> uh, uh. She literally just tries to get this man to pick her up. This is where, well, Toji just picks her up. <laughs> As she holds on to Toji's neck, try, literally just, well, if it was a normal human... She would have been strangling that dude to death, but since it's Toji, it's not like that. <laughs> yeah, Toji. He's got the different built body, bro. Yep. <laughs> then freaking uh, Gaia tries to sneak away to the kitchen. <clears throat> this is where, well, he accidentally meet one of my other kids who was right now in the kitchen. Just kind of like studying someone. That's where he looks up and says, what the? Who the hell are you? I'm Gaia, um, son of Gaia, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, the, the mother earth or something, to make you know that. This is where, well, mostly the kid says, isn't Gaia supposed to be female, though? She named me after her, okay. Still... Can you get it out of the kitchen? I'm trying to study. Go go with the other kids. But I'm an adult. Get out of my way. This is where... Well, <clears throat> the kid just sent wind to push him out of here. This is where... Well, he, he goes back to studying. He just, like, glides out lightly because uh, he literally is a... The incarnation of the earth, so it doesn't really affect him that much, but he just leaves anyway. It's not wanting to deal with it. This is where. Uh, well. I go, go ahead, go ahead. This is where, well, mostly he bumped into another person, but this person was mostly, uh, just someone that didn't really like 
anyone. He was quite violent, and uh, he kind of looked like this. Shit, god damn it. No, fast enough. He kind of just pushes mostly Gaia out the way, and very angry ashes and other things. But yeah. Also, what you what were you gonna say? Um. <clears throat> well, actually, I forgot that dude was a simp. Anyways, um, <clears throat> two of my kids are fighting, and uh, let's just say <clears throat> I don't. Uh, uh, um, <clears throat> one of them literally is a. Uh, uh okay. So both of them are really fighting in the training room right now, throwing fireballs and freaking using darkness. Well, a type of vortex darkness. So like, hmm, you're strong, but can you keep up with me, little brother? And of course he says, as if I can't. And he starts to freaking shoot spirals of fire everywhere, bro. Literally going into his nature as a yeah, you see what's on his head. A demon? Wait, wait, oh, wait. Oh, uh, a demon. Oh, yeah, yeah, he got that. Well, he ain't really blood-related, but... Mm. I thought you changed all your I, kids I, I, into blood-related. Oh, yeah, they do got a bit of my DNA in them. Mm. Got them with the auntie. Hold on, what the freak is that a... I was about to do something crazy, but other than that, yeah, they just fighting. Then, uh. What the freak is that? A fanboy? Oh, nah! What the no, that's crazy. Dante, what the fuck are you looking at? Uh, you might. Never mind. Don't. No. Mm -mm. I was just looking at freaking Google images, bro. Okay. But other than that. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> the kids are just, you know fighting basically just shooting all sorts of attacks everywhere freaking guys getting in the middle of it you know trying to stop the uh thing speak for guy please oh yeah guy is just over here trying to stop like wait no you yeah shit hey uh which kid you want to you want to uh, play as i guess the uh Kind of hot headed one. This is where, well, mostly the hot headed say, Get out of my way, you freaking weird looking motherfucker. And then, you know, he says, Then uh, the other kid says, It's very rude. So please, step out of the way. Guy, you just say, I'm doing my job and trying to stop you two. And, you know, the. The big brother sheets his sword and says, Try to warn you. This is where he says, Uh, well, I. <clears throat> and this is where, well, someone actually appears, kind of just, uh, unsheathing his sword and kind of blocking most of the older brother's kind of attack. You know, it's not really nice to actually attack, well, mostly our babysitter. Well, I wasn't going to, actually. I was just worried about my little brother decided to... Then the freaking high head decided to throw a fire... Throw a huge vortex of fire at, um... Freaking Gaia. Gaia says, uh... She, this is where... Well, he uses mostly, uh... His mineral magic to actually make a giant earth to actually block it. Even though it's I melting mean, through... He literally could have taken the oxygen from the flames, basically making it weaker, but, I mean, okay. Oh, well, you could have said something like that, okay? <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> yeah, so that happened. This is where, well, we'll see uh, the kid, the orange hair kid, his name Ichigo, and kind of says, Hey, that wasn't really nice of you to do. Uh, 
Uh, oh yeah, the hothead. Sorry, I had to. The hothead is saying, screw you, move out of my way. I'm here fighting my brother. Okay. Uh, do I care? Do <laughs> it, most. Okay, no, 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 that's great. Anyways, uh, home, like, homeboy just decided to, <clears throat> homeboy just decided to leave because there was literally no point in trying to, well, ain't no point in trying to fight, bro. Is where really Ichigo just kind of follows Gaia just to make sure that Gaia doesn't die? <clears throat> Ichigo say, so, where are we going next? Mm. Well, there's over... There's... Oh, well, no. You you speak. Oh. Is he speaking to... Is he speaking to Guy? Yeah, he's speaking to Guy. Alright, just want to make sure. He's like, I just want to go home, but... Okay. Just say I don't really have a choice to be here uh I mean yeah you really don't have a choice my dad did just threaten you to actually be here This is where Ichigo says, there, there, you're not going to die. None of my brothers are that violent enough to actually go kill you. Okay, um. Um. Are you sure about that yourself? Uh, not a... Entirely. I mean, there's Loki, who's basically the one who's mischief, but he won't try to kill you. He would just try to trick you into, I guess, a mostly falling into a dimensional place. Then there's Quinn. Then there's... Hmm. Entirely, I'm not really sure, but some of them are kind of just too serious. Some of them are just mischievous. Some of them are... Lazy. Some of them are too sleepy. Like, we'll see my, uh, I don't think you have met him, but it's a guy with longish hair and a galaxy kind of, like, hairstyle. I mean, he's lazy. He doesn't really, well, try to attack you. Okay. Uh, why? <laughs> I'm questioning my job so much, he just says, I just feel like killing myself sometimes because I feel like there's, I just can't win. Ever since that day, I freaking decided to fight Dante. All this shit has been happening to me for what? Uh. Well, uh. I mean, it could be karma. Karma? For what? For fighting Uncle Dante, I guess? <laughs> yeah, I guess it is. This is where someone walks out. Mostly it's Kazator, and Kazator says, Yo, uh, Ichigo, where's uh, mostly Raikou at? This is where Ichigo he says, left. Uh, he left. Damn. And I'm here babysitting half of you kids. Who are you anyway? Guy like, then just says, So he's here too, huh? Cause or am I the only guy? I gotta be depressed. Damn, you are so depressing. Dude, I don't know about you, but I don't think you should be right next to kids when kind of with that attitude, I will say. Well, in my 
my fault. I decided to be here. This is where Kazdor says, was it willingly or was it forcibly? With force. Uh, weren't you supposed to be almost the same strength as oh, well, Dante and Wright could really surpass you? Uh, mm. Have you ever thought of, I don't know, getting a girl and actually shutting up? I don't have a father. Damn, you are a fatherless child. Got it. I never got so I had to get girls. But this is what Cousin Tori says. Well, going to have to be that one person to step up and actually teach you how to get a girl. The next thing you know, one of my kids said, Hey, yo, old man Kazutora, what's happening here? Well, this motherfucker never had a father, so he's fatherless. Don't know what that's like. Oh, wait. I don't even know who my dad is. All I know is Mr. Dante adopted me. <sighs> well, I mean, you have, a, you have someone as a father, I guess. Other than that, then I gotta teach this a uh, sad sap of garbage in how to actually get someone. Yeah, we really gotta teach you something. You know, and like Pat's freaking uh, homeboy on the head, but uh, he slapped the guys out their way. Said, so, "I don't need your pity. I I'm fine just on my own." All right. Cousin Torres says, "Are you sure about that?" You can't even say yes. So are you sh Okay. Cool, I would just call uh Baji to actually help out for mostly a girl problem. Because he hasn't even found anyone yet. Baji says, fuck you too, at the very end of the fucking, like, just somewhere far away. He just kind of told uh, Kazutora to go fuck himself. And then next thing you know, some dude keep, had just walked into the building and said, my, my, my. <sighs> it smells like... Hmm. Poor trash in here. He was like, Ugh. What the f do you want now, Aya? Well, I heard there was a strong person here. So I so I came here to try try get some try them against myself. And then you know he looks at Guy and says, Are you this um babysitter I'm hearing about? Yes, what well, well, guy says, am I really a babysitter, or am I just someone to be forcibly here? Eh, I don't really care. All I hear is you're strong. So, stand up. We're going to have a fight, but not here. Follow along. And this where a guy just yeah. follows along. They get to a big training arena <clears throat> and said, it looks like the entire ch uh, looks like all the children are here. And wow, they fill up the stadium. Told you so, but they're awesome. And he's, and of course, told you. I do look up to him, even as a child. Even though he was, well, really disowned by our clan, I still looked up to him. And I thought it would be quite embarrassing that the pro one of the prodigies of the Zenin clan would look up to a magicless loser like him. But I just can't help but to admire it. Well, him, of course. Now he says with pride. <clears throat> 
you know, everybody's like, bro, get to scrap it. Ain't nobody want to hear all that. Want to hear that sentimental bullshit? <laughs> Anyways, <clears throat> someone gets down there and says, all right, in one corner, we have the prodigy of the Zenning. We have the next head of the Zenning family, Noya Zenning, versus the child of God. Of Mother Earth herself, Uza, which name is also named after her, Gaia, for some odd reason. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> Wait, bro, can I just win? Like, I just, I just, that's, how, that's how I feel like, bro. Bro has a whole lot of potential and power. We, we over here disrespecting him like crazy. Anyways. This is where someone in the freaking, like, uh, just up in the air kind of says, wow. Everyone just disrespecting this guy named Gaia. What? That's it. I'm I'm getting disrespected. I'm about to go. I'm about to go crazy. No, get your hands up, Noah. Noah just says, all right. He then gets into a... He then gets into a fighting stance. This is where, well, the guy up in the air just, like, gets his gun out and right now shoots up in the air and says, go, I guess. Now he immediately freaking gra- um, puts his palms on, fr- puts his palm on freaking, uh, <clears throat> on Gaia, and then the guy gets frozen into a frame, and then kicked This is where well Kaya okay, says, What the hell? <clears throat> then Noah you started walking to him and says, Do you understand animation? He asked with a grin. I actually do not know if Guy will actually know that. <laughs> <laughs> and then, you know, then now he starts explaining how his ability works. He says, Well, my abil my um magic or my magic that was passed down to me by my father, Nabito Zenin. This is called projection sorcery. Basically, he then moves fast behind him, and of course, Guy is asking, like, thinking, how is he moving so freaking fast? He then says, there's a, he then says, eh, a singular frame is a, he then, like, taps him, um, uh, puts his hand against him and, sit, and literally freezes this guy into a frame and kicks him again and says a single fr- frame of animation is at least 24 SPS to give off the illusion of movement basically like anime cartoons anything that re- moves in a 2D in a 2D image or 3D basically has 24 SPS I, I and my father could you can use this in a can use this in a form where basically we have a preset preset of movements, and I have to follow this preset movements or else uh, let's just say I'd get I'd get frozen if I didn't. But when I when I touch you, if you can. If you follow your preset of movements that are laid out, then you must do it within that second. But if you aren't able to do that, you'll get frozen. He then touches him again and literally freezes the dude and kicks and then punches him, punches him as he goes out of the frame again and says, if you don't follow those preset movements, You'll get frozen in a frame, and are and are open to attacks. I can also use this to stack presets of movements by moving even faster. But to me, to make myself move even faster. But as long as I don't break the laws of physics excessively, it's just fine. 
he explains to uh, you know now he explains his whole ability. But the thing <laughs> is, because of revealing your one the uh, one's hand, his uh, his technique and power got a boost now. Gaia just kind of understands that he can only touch one person. So what Gaia does is basically shift mostly the ground by making minerals kind of shoot up in the air and just spike up all over the place. This is where he then starts making clones of himself of different min uh, well, minerals and different kind of elements. Nawe uses the 24 SBS to freaking move out of the way and then get right to Gaia and says, nice try. As he was about to touch him. But this is where Gaia kind of grins and says, kaboom. This is where, well, it was a clone that just exploded and just shoots a bunch of shards of, like, glass. The this is where it kind of just cuts mostly, uh, nah, I forgot this man's name. Gaia? No, not the guy. The other guy. No, yeah. No, uh, whatever has got the name. Yeah, and of course, you have literally Ma Maki and Mai protesting against freaking Naoya. <clears throat> but uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, they're just like freaking saying they just freaking don't like Naoya. Matter of fact, nah, nah, nah. Maki and Mai would definitely be quiet, but they were really hoping that Gaia loses. Gaia or Mai? Oh, oh for fuck's sake. Oh, no, I mean, I'm no. Now, Noya. Now, yeah, freak. Get the heck. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Noya is a piece of shit. But other than that. This is where, well, mostly Gaia starts kind of mixing up some elements together. And this is where. Yeah. This is where, well, he then kind of made some clones with that mixture of the element. Okay. That pretty much uh, a explodes on contact somewhat. Or close to contact. Yeah. It's mostly like a time bomb. What the? <clears throat> yeah, he tries to explode now, yeah, but now he yeah, keeps dodging, but... You can tell he's not going to be able to dodge you forever. This is where, well, Gaia then starts kind of changing the landscape again. With the kind of, like, giant mineral kind of spikes all over the place. He then kind of shoots out different mineral spikes from those mineral spikes to attack Naibo uh, Naioya, whatever. He then tries to dodge, but, uh... <laughs> Yeah, homeboy's actually getting his SB now. This is where, well, with those mineral spikes keep growing all over the place, he's actually uh, limiting the movement of mostly Naioya at instantly. So even if he managed to use his frame ability, it kind of has a limited space to try to move out of the way, but yeah. Then Naoya started to run around the um, open spaces and actually starts to freaking use the um, spike edges to his advantage to get a, get a boost to jump from one to one and use projection sorcery to build up momentum and then freaking kicks, bro. This is where, well, Gaia grins and says, good thing you actually kicked me. Because, wait, can't Gaia use lava or magma? Oh, yeah, he can. Okay, well, mostly yeah. that kick hit him, but this is where he turned into magma, so burning this guy's leg. Yeah, my leg. This is where Gaia then actually crates his fist into mostly a uh, mineral diamond and punches guy so hard in the face. Still having the guy's kind of like leg launch into his like, body, but since he turned into magma, similar to that of mostly uh, Akaino from mostly One Piece. So, yeah. He clocked this man harder than the fucking, well, harder than what's it called, Luffy punching the shit out of Kaido that one time. No. <laughs> yeah, homeboy's basically kind of done for now. No, he's like, no. This can't be. I haven't even learned healing magic yet. This is where Gaia says, 
you don't need to learn anything about it. This is where, well, he then kind of gets rid of the oxygen around Mosi Naiwoya in an instant to make sure that he won't be able to breathe for too much. This is where Gaia says, now you're finished, you son of a bitch. This is where, well, Gaia punches the ground in an instant, and this is where mineral shots out from the ground to hit him right in the face. To hit right uh, Naiwoya in the face. Ding. I won't. I won't. I won't die. And then the homeboy literally starts to transform into some grotesque ass creature. And they're like, oh crap. Uh, and in case y'all are wondering, manga fans, y'all know this. If you if y'all ain't a manga fan, oh uh. Get your mother freaking out of here. You gonna see something. It was, uh, yeah. So, um, <clears throat> as I was saying, literally, you see this thing. <laughs> Guy just says, What the fuck is that thing? Oh, it is. Yeah. Uglier than what Mother Cray that one time. And then zoomed right at freaking guy and bopped him in the chest. This is where Gaia cough up plus. Damn it. It literally starts moving like a dang vehicle. Nah, but it's even faster than that, bro. Homeboy literally freezes dude in a frame. In. In. It literally had a distorted face and said, Gaia. Yeah. This is where Gaia says, Don't put that creepy face right in front of me. That is creepier than God knows what. It's where. Then now you finally finishes his mother freaking metamorphosis. And, you know, he, he now states himself as, I am the full cursed spirit, Curse Noia. Uh, yeah. that's cool and all, but, uh, I, I don't think I'd ever ask. Yeah, that guy is just... It then freaking act. it then activated it, then started to beat on this man like crazy in its acceleration mode which is I'm not even gonna lie it just sounded like very cartoonish when it said that this is where it's well Gaia changes, changes his body entirely to titanium okay homeboy is literally moving at Mach 3 well I mean since it's our verse and people are literally strong as heck um <clears throat> So, uh, okay, well, what does it say? Come on, towards it. Curls up acceleration mode towards his top speed so that that very. <clears throat> well, Dante's dying, it's okay. He won't destroy him. Curling up increase is now he is. <clears throat> his toughness, but a binding valve prevents him from being durable outside this mode. Okay. This is where, well, mostly, um, well, what's it called? Guy is getting beat on in his bodies right now, uh, being made out of titanium. He then uses, uh, mostly radiation and even acid on his mostly body around it. Right now, kind of using what's it called? Oxygen, mostly to kind of carry both of mostly the acids and, uh, Uh, well, radiation to be kind of around him a bit. Or, well, since radiation is, well, mostly always going to be around him, he's just kind of putting it around him while mostly he's thinking of trying to use oxygen itself to try to carry a bunch of clouds around him. So while slowly kind of poisoning this guy with mostly radiation... No, even says, 
I'm a curse. Radiation doesn't have the same effect on me as humans. Although, it's still effective. Other than that, I think we need to take this to its highest tier now. Don't we? This is where, well, we'll see Gaia says. That is true, but you should look up in the air for a second. Mm. This is where, well, mostly the clouds start rumbling, but this is where instead of raining normal water, it starts raining acid. Acid? This is where Gaia kind of says, yes. And you, and you restricted it just to the stadium. <clears throat> Well, I mean, I'm not trying to hurt a bunch of random kids because I feel like fucking Raikou would kill me about it. Or even fucking Dante. Mm. Well, might as well show you, right? He then, like, splits uh, his, uh, his form a bit and then literally reveals his top half. Said, don't worry. This won't... Well, this will be lethal, actually. He then puts his hands into a hand sign and says, Domain Expansion. As literally, you see the image that is in front of you. Homeboy, li Homeboy literally creates a freaking eye. The, the Wait, what image? Is... What? No, 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 no. Actually, has a domain. It's called <clears throat> Time Cell Moon Palace. Yeah, but what what eye am I supposed to be looking for? You don't see it? No, I only see the what's it called guy splitting his body. Uh, for real? Hold on. Oh. Okay, yeah, okay, here it is. My bad, my bad, I didn't even, I didn't even press enter, my bad. Anyways, um, Weather. yeah, it's called Time Cell Moon Palace. And then, you know what, then Gaia decided to move, but he started to realize that his body's getting fucked up by it. And then now he says, you feel that? The domains can't miss it. Back are lines of film that it, that enforce the twenty the t twenty four frames per second or twenty four FPS rules of projection sorcery, but on the cellular level. This is where well, mostly Gaia can just get hurt and see that mostly well. Uh, truly, he doesn't know what to do right now. But he then thought of one thing, and that is to transform his body into Hydra. Well, mostly the number one element of Hydra, and that being just clearly water. So, of course, none of the attacks are now able to hit him. Well, unable. Water is a different substance, so it won't really work here. Damn it. Guy yeah, just kind of says, Hey, buddy, I, weren't, weren't you trying to hurt me? Then, then he says, I'll just put the water in a frame myself. This is where Gaia then changes his water towards mostly a gas and an ensign and just dodges out of the way by just dispelling himself into gas. <clears throat> that being oxygen. Well, yeah. What the? Then is starting to get upset and freaking because of the boost in his domain, he's like way faster now. This is where well, we'll see. Uh, Gaia change his body into a gas, into one of those poisonous ga uh, gas. So, was it helium or a uh, neon, uh, neon, whatever? Mostly, he just changes his body into a gas. Making sure to drown out mostly just gassing out someone. I really want to make a joke so bad. Go ahead and make it. No, I can't because that that would literally demonetize me. I can see it. 
<laughs> yeah, no, shit. But pretty much, if you all want to understand what he's actually using, which gas, it would be the one that mostly, uh, if you know about um, the Holocaust kind of uh, gas, then you know it would be that one. Okay, there. Of course you would bring up the Hall anyway, so whatever. So yeah, he uses that. And don't worry, we're not bringing up Hitler. Shut the fuck up, Dante. We're not saying any about that. <clears throat> My bad. Anyways. Uh, yeah. This is where, well, mostly the gas is kind of drowning out now, boy, uh, in his domain. And since the domain is literally a fucking, well, mostly circle domain, whatever, it's pretty much not getting any other oxygen. Then Noia says, no, I can't. Then he ends up running out of, well, then his domain disappeared because he's taking too much damage. And if you're known JJK for regular people, using one domain expansion costs a whole lot of cursed energy. So, uh, yeah, he can no longer use his domain and his freaking technique is uh, out of whack. So, yeah. Unless your names are me, Raikou, and a few other people. But we ain't talking about that right now. Gojo. Yeah, Gojo. This is where, well, mostly Gaia then appears back in front of him and says, Hey. <clears throat> what do you want? Oh, nothing. I also did kind of change the air to kind of be in thin, uh, well, mostly that of, uh, well, thin. And, uh, you might have, uh, lid poisoning, or, yeah. What? <clears throat> no, he then passes out. This is where, well, mostly, um, uh, Gaia says, you think it's a good idea to actually also tell him that he also has chlorine poisoning? Yeah, I think those hospital people can actually figure it out. Mm-hmm. But yeah, bro, you you effed him up, bro. What the heck, yo? <laughs> I'll, uh, he I should really be. Is scrub now, will you, bruh? And of course, Maki and Maki and Mai just are just freaking falling for Raikou at this point <clears throat> because this home homeboy literally took down. Wait, no, me no. or Gaia? <laughs> wait, who the? F- wait, why you ask? Why are you say my name if when Gaia took down was a cow? Oh, my fault, my fault, my fault, bro. I forgot. Dang. Bro, I don't even use elements on the periodic table. Yeah, I know you wouldn't know anything about the periodic table. No, but I am looking at a periodic table right now. Oh, you looking at possible combinations or something? Yeah, pretty much. That I'm also looking at it just so I can remember half the elements that were on there. Yeah, but pretty much what what Dante meant to say is fucking Maki and Maya are falling for Gaia. Yeah, but I think Maki's for you, never mind. Yeah. I mean, they're just feeling like, well, okay, reword, reword. Um, Maki and Mai, um are cheering in their heads because, of course, Maki's too cool for all that. And my, she just doesn't want to look like a, yeah, fangirl. she's just, yeah, a fangirl. No Sakura. Yeah. But with that happening, mostly, uh, Gaia just kind of says, actually, it feels good about beating someone. And of course, the people, uh, 
freaking uh, doctors freaking took away Naoya, but the our kids are just freaking you know raving, you know freaking going crazy like bro, they seen a cool fight. Most of them are some of them are chill, some of them are chill. Yeah. And uh, yeah, but uh, then like you know we go to our POV on what we're doing. I. Um, we've been, we didn't show up, like, somewhere, I mean, Raikou shows up somewhere and someone says, Hey, you, kid. Yeah, well. Kid says, Hmm. You don't look, no you don't feel normal. But yet, I have this urge to fight you. Why is that? Don't know. Uh, sure, why not? Have nothing else better to do. True. Well, she then goes ahead and, uh, basically starts to <clears throat> use her, uh, magic. Let's just be honest, y'all. Curse techniques are basically magic. Why is it called Jujutsu Sorcery for a reason? Other than that, yeah, um, <clears throat> Jen starts to use, to use, uh, well, how do I say this? Distort the, distort space by quote unquote controlling the sky and you, and distorting the, basically similar to a lens. Basically sky manipulation, if y'all know what it is. Um, she starts distorting freaking space around homeboy and then like, well, even though it's not like, Pulling him apart. This is where I noticed what was happening. I was like, I see. So she's able to somewhat bend the sky with her technique. Interesting. I didn't say. And she uses clothing. Where the fuck did you come from, Dante? What the fuck? Oh, my bad. I just saw a cool ability and just had to see. Okay, well, I guess I'm gonna be have to be fighting her. This is where I sigh and just disappear. She, then Uro was like, "By the way, <clears throat> my name is Ta. My name is Taka Takakuro Uro or Takako Uro." Okay. Just wanted to let you know if I. Or, you know, defeat you, and so. That'll be, well, probably the last thing you probably say, but whatever. The name's Raikou. Raikou Yami. Other than that, this is where I disappear into the darkness in an instant. Huh? Where'd he go? The shadows? Or the space, who knows, is where I appear on top of her. Just kind of gloating She's up. Like, what the? What are you doing? Oh, no, no. Knife bloody session. She then punches dude in the upper head, bro. This is uh, where he missed me, and this is where, well, I just dissipate into absolute space. Or just mostly thin air. She then freaking bends, she then freaking, uh, distorts the sky and then finds, bro, she said, found you. Then she uses whole thin ice breaker, then she uses thin ice breaker to literally shatter the sky and then attack, bro. This is where, well, before the attack could have been hit me, uh, hit me I just say black hole. This is where black hole appears, right now absorbing all matter that's right now in front of me. Literally feels her skin being pulled with it. <clears throat> this is why I just snap my fingers and then change the black hole into a white hole and just shoots all matter right in front of her. Then it's launching her into multiple buildings or trees. Where where are we exactly? Oh, we're just um, we're just in an abandoned city for real. 
Okay, so I get to say she definitely smashed into multiple buildings. Yeah, and a few trees along the way, but then she literally just, then she decides to, you know, use her sky manipulation to, like, you know, control her flight. This is where I say this is quite annoying for you to be using flight, so how about this? I changed the gravity to that of, like, mostly, like, 50 times to make it heavier. <laughs> now we can just be fighting here in the ground. I mean, if it's not heavier, I'll change it to 100. Did she, did she then distort space using it as a defense? Well, it distorts the well, space of the sky, I guess, as a defense. <clears throat> And then just decides to move away from Raikou, but also make sure he uses thin icebreaker again to shoot a focused shockwave at him. This is where I managed to just kind of destroy the shockwave by just like using shadow, well, shadows to just appear and just kind of cut through it. I'm like, that's interesting. This is where, well, I then create something in my finger that kind of looks like, uh, what's it called? Like, uh, well, the, uh, reversal red technique similar to that of Gojo. But instead of, like, shooting out, like, this red blast that would just annihilate everything in front of me, it's literally a star right now in front of me. Blue star shot. This is where, well, I shoot a star straight to her, hitting her right in the kind of liver. And yes, since yeah. a star is kind of made out of, well, gas at the same time, fire, it does burn her at the same time. She then falls to the ground and where he says, Lust. She then, like, uh, <clears throat> falls to the ground with the sky manipulation clothing disappearing. I was like, oh shit, she doesn't really have anything else to be wearing. She, I walk over, and just kind of like put my coat over her and did heal her. I'm like, well, that went as unexpected. Then again, I did just shoot her with a star. Yeah, and then, uh, yeah, um, and in case any of y'all are wondering what the heck was her ability looking like, okay, here's um, here's like how she uses sky manipulation. In case y'all want to know. And then uh, next one is the icebreaker. It literally looks like the, uh, looks like this. There. So I was like, I didn't walk up to um, Raikou. They asked him, so what are we doing with her? I have no clue. I mean, she's healed. I didn't really like, well, didn't really try to aim for her liver, but I hit her anyway. I really suck at aiming half the time. Of course you do. Anyways. Man, fuck you. I haven't you actually... The base we should. I pick her up, but before, like, mostly... Well, leaving, this is where a shot came out of nowhere about a hit. Well, mostly Dante. I freaking... I literally dodged that. I was like, they're trying to kill me. I was like, I don't know, but see you, man. I didn't see him teleport away. I was like, crazy. Crazy, I'll come back. I mean, I have someone injured, and I'm not trying to carry them on. I didn't teleport where he is. This where, well, the person's that guy who kind of looked like Josuke. Josuke? No, not Josuke. The, the, the guy with the Pomodoro, whatever his name is. The guy that shoots literally a cannon from his, like, Pomodoro. I was like, uh, so, what you need? Uh, wait, hold on, I know you. You're Ryu Ishiguri, yeah, what's good? <clears throat> Even though I ain't your buddy buddy. This is where he kind of looks at you and says, ah, you must be Dante. Yeah, I am. Well, you haven't paid me for my fucking $50 that one time. I don't remember gambling. Wasn't that you? 
I, I swear to I remember you like. This is what Ryu looks like. But yeah, pretty much he just uh, says, ah, whatever. I guess I'll just try to, well, kill you. This is where he tries to shoot another can at you, but yeah. I was like, bro, just because you got the highest magic output in history don't mean shit. This is where, well. Slap bro to the ground. I was like, nah. Not even give him the chance. Just straight up slap and bitch smack him like, bruh. While I was dealing with Ryu, um, <clears throat> um, we literally see Raikou, um, gi giving, uh, you know, putting on Uro some hospital clothing and that she just stays there for a few, for a few minutes and then wake up again. You want to play your voice? Or, and, and yeah. <laughs> um, wait. Wait, am I there or am I left? Wait. Oh, um, I just switched over to you and, um, bro. Oh. That's where, well, I kind of just yawned and says, you're awake. She's like, uh, uh, where am I? In a hospital, no shit. Have you never been here, or what? She didn't realize she's wearing a hospital gown. It was like, okay. Well, am I safe here, or? Well, since this is my kingdom, I guess so. Unless you attack one of my children or just attack someone in general. What well, I kind of just say it. Unless you attack one of my children or just anyone in general, I mean, you probably won't be safe. I see. Um. Well. <clears throat> I hope we can, well, get along, of course. But, um, where do I, where do I, uh, um, how do I say this? What do I do now? I lost a fight, so what do you want from me? Entirely, I don't really want anything. I just decided to fight you because I was bored. What do you want to do then? I, I have no clue. I well, mean, entirely. I was, I was a part of the assassination group of the Fujiwara family, but now they're not here. So I just wander around fighting for no purpose in the end. Plus, I'm over a thousand years old. Ah, I see. Well, since you have nowhere to go or nowhere to kind of fight for, I guess you can be in my kingdom. Besides, there's a bunch of other randoms who usually are here because they had nowhere to go or mostly they're betrayed. So how about it? You join my kingdom or my group. She's still alive? I thought she died in the manga. Never mind. Wait, what? what, what, what? Dante, what the fuck? Did you look at something? I thought Uro died in the manga, but no, nah, she's still alive. Oh. So pretty much, I kind of just say that my group is called the Abyss. Sometimes they're called the Avoid, but pretty much just, it's truly the Abyss. I will try my best to keep up with everyone else. 
Eh, you don't need to worry. I mean, you sometimes might be sent with a kind of partner or something to go on missions or whatever. Sometimes. Most of the time, everyone would like to always go alone. Alright, sir. Um, so... What will be my first order of business? Uh, first order of business is to actually get you proper clothes and to not let you be around my children without the proper clothes in the first place. Because I'm not letting you just kind of use your sky ability. Yeah. And it's out of the question. Well, I'm sorry. I grew up in the hand era. So, things were definitely, well... A lot different, and it didn't really matter what I wore. Heck, I remember Yorozu actually wearing a, absolutely nothing but a trench coat. Okay. Well, she didn't wear anything in her own house. At least she's had some form of dignity. Uh, don't know who you are talking about, but, uh, yes. Okay. Hey, yo, is that freaking Nanami? Okay, never mind. <laughs> but this is where I kind of say, so... I don't really know what girls usually wear, so I would just kind of ask one of my girls to kind of, like, help you dress up. So, let me actually call Junko. This is where I kind of just use a magic kind of spell to call Junko. This is where, well, I say, yeah, can you come over here at this, uh, yeah, the number is 516, uh, yeah, at the hospital. She kind of just teleports and kind of says, hmm? She then, you know, ends up teleporting over to, um, well, well, um, Jen, uh, took it to Africa with a you to meet my fault, my fault. Anyways, um, yeah, uh, basically just, she just shows up there and, you know, she says, so, Raku, what do you need? Uh, to get this person proper clothes so mostly the kid doesn't actually wonder why there's someone kind of naked. I see. Well, <sighs> Jen says, you know, she sees a uh, Uro with the towel, with the um, hospital gown on, said, All right, hold on to me. We're teleporting to my room. This is where she kind of nods and just like holds on to Junko. teleport to her room minutes later freaking no <clears throat> I bring out uh, I think like you know bring Ishigori with me uh, I was like yo he joined my crew this is where he says shit sure why not you just joined that quick cool I mean you fucking smacked the shit of me what do you want me to do Either I join or get smacked again, so what do you want me to say? Yeah, I get it. So, uh... Okay, an hour later, we, uh, get everyone together and then say, Alright, y'all, these are two new members of our groups. Larry with, uh, Ishigori wearing, you know, <clears throat> clothing like that, and Bro wearing clothing like, uh... Hers got from Junko's closet. Yeah. I then I then ask, wait, hold on, her hips still out? Okay. Anyways. <clears throat> Other than that, 
you know, East your glory looking like a bum. <laughs> a cool one. <laughs> Damn, it's straight up bum. <laughs> okay, now that's crazy. That's crazy. I mean, hey, his hairstyle looks cool now, bro. It's better when he's down, but he needs... Archie's curse technique. He needs it in a uh, pompadour. But, yeah, I'm like, damn, Dante, you got to insult you're basically your new member, okay, whatever. Anyways, okay. Anyways, Isha Gory, I'm, don't worry, bro, I got you. I'm going to teach you some other stuff, bro, because uh, your ability is strong, but uh, it's not enough. I'm, I'm not going front with you. This word. He kind of feels insulted, the fact that you just, like, said that, but then again, he just got smacked. I then decided, I then look at Riker and says, hey, yo, you said Uro's abilities, so we've discovered Uro's abilities is basically spatial distortion, right? Yeah. Well, but for the sky? Mm-hmm. Bet. I then give him a book based on spatial displacement. Give it to her. This is where I was like, okay. I was like, here. This is a book that mostly that guy over there gave me. It's about to help you mostly in your technique. Girl then grabs it and says, eh. um, Thank you, Mr. Dunt. Or Mr. Dunt. Oh yeah, I forgot that mostly you're... Yeah. Yeah, no. Me too. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, we introduced them to everyone, you know, um, Junko and the Margin, uh, Junko, Uro, and like, you know, the rest of the girls are getting along pretty well. Although, Uro does share some of her gruesome wars. Which Junko kind of enjoys. And also some of the other girls. Yeah. While we go into the POV of Mosi Gaia over here, kind of looking quite cheerful and actually pulling a girl. Thanks to Kazutora, don't worry about it. The problem is, I don't know. <laughs> let, let me, uh,. We just like search this up like who away so pretty much uh her name was tiamat and of course uh she was she was looking like that cheerful kind of friendly and nice to gaia shut the fuck up shut the fuck up the fuck, the fuck off we don't talk about it but yeah she she was just completely friendly towards woke Gaia and making sure that he was confident and not scared of Toji. Even though Toji was giving him that mean look. This is where Gaia was still terrified of Toji. No matter yeah. what, even though he defeated someone, he's still terrified of a man who will literally whack him around like a goddamn whack a mole. Of course, Burrow's looking at this like, hmm, who's that chick? Oh. Uh, strong. <clears throat> I say, I have no clue. I learned that. I kind of look at Guy and say, at least you didn't die. Uh. Hmm. Um, who must be for again? Oh, uh, mostly Guy. Guy. Yeah. He was like, uh, <clears throat> um, so, uh, what do you like to do? Uh, pretty much I was speaking to him saying, at least he didn't die. Uh, yeah, you know, I, 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 I have my, my own. You know what I mean? I have my own. Good. Now, can you handle yourself against Toji? Say what? 
I'm a, I'm gonna be letting go of Toji here from his duty of being a babysitter, and I'm gonna let him do whatever. His first priority will probably be you. So I was. Probably what? Uh, you know, just probably hunting, hunting you down. Hold on, give, give me a second. Give me a second. Hold on. What the fuck? All right, speak now. This is where, well, mostly, uh, was a car. I say, I'll be letting Toji hunt you down. Now, good luck with that. Why? This is where I say, for no reason other than entertainment. You're just being evil now. Yes, I am evil. What, did you finally find out that, uh, find, uh, find that out just recently? I am purely evil. Even if this galaxy hairstyle is here, I'm still purely evil. Okay. Toji! You're, you're free from your duty. Toji turns around and says, I understand what I'm going to do first. Good luck, Gaia. This is where I walk away. And this is where Toji rushes at, at Gaia. Gaia, of course, runs away. This is why I'm laughing like a madman. <laughs> key, 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 key. And, uh... Yeah, that completely happened to us, mostly Gaia. Yeah, bro. Bro can't win for losing. We, we brought him back just to freaking... Just to have him do cold anime shit and then get his tail beat. Yeah... This is where Tiamat just sees this and just say, uh, huh. I didn't, I didn't just see that and I was like, wow, crazy. I can And then, like, telepathically ask, um, Raikou, so, are you going to make the real part of your, your, uh, you know, help mates? Uh, I was like, I mean, uh, that's a good question. I actually have no clue. Right. Don't know if the other girls wants that, because, I mean, before they really didn't like each other too much. Now they just like each other a lot. Don't know where Uru He's over there playing with the kids, although she's kind of having a bad time doing it or whatnot, but he, the end experience makes it more Well, except for the fact that was, I'm going to hit them to uh, <clears throat> calm them down. I didn't know I was going to scam this What the heck? Damn, Dante, what the fuck? You know, that's crazy. Other than that, yeah. She doesn't do that. She, she takes calm on. Not too no, I feel like it's with Um. What? Uh, <laughs> what was that? I heard you just, like, just talking that whisper. Like, what the fuck? My fault, bro. My fault. Um, what was I at again? Uh, you were at Mosi just talking. I have no clue where you were at. You were after the fact so, that you were talking about Mosi Uryu. Yeah, she's she's pretty she's pretty cool though. She's pretty cool. Well, I mean, except for when baby starts crying, she thinks the only way to shut it up is by you know. But nah, she was disproving her that immediately. Yeah. <clears throat> I was yeah. like, mm, yeah, I don't really know. She. Um, <clears throat> this is where I didn't think about it. I was like, wait, isn't like that one girl, uh, what was her name? Uh, the one that you saved all her kids from, mostly that one thing or whatever. Isn't she like a thousand years old?
Dante? Huh? Oh, shit, you fell asleep. Yeah. No, I didn't. I'm trying to remember that one, uh, that one person you save from that creature, and she was a thousand years old. I forgot her name. Oh, um, what was it again? Um, I had it on those... It's called Miss Renko for now. Miss Renko. She's my last name. No, I'm kidding. That's crazy. That's crazy. Okay, I was like, so, uh, Miss Renko was like a thousand years old, right? Do you think they know each other just because of the fact they were a thousand years old? Could be. <clears throat> Other than that, I wonder where's Gojo and, uh, well, Yar, Yar, Yarichi. Oh, you are trouble. Um, let's see. But we um, didn't go into a time skip of the Gojo and y Yarichi's kind of show. Because clearly Dante's falling asleep. What? Aren't you? Huh? Aren't you falling asleep? My eyes are starting to blink, though, but... Eh. Exactly. Yeah, I guess, yeah, I, guess I am. Uh, we can stop right here. Well, we're going to the Gojo and Yachibu's kind of adventure. Yeah. Unless you just want to, like, end it off here. Dante? Huh? Unless you want to just huh? end it off here... Or do the adventure for Gojo and Yachiru. Um, yeah, I think we get the update. Just end it off? Okay, well, I'm gonna end it off. Fuck it. Yeah, so. Yeah, my fault. Um, I was lost. For a moment, and what I wanted to say. Um, yeah. And uh, yeah, we ended up here. God. Yeah, okay, well, Dante's brain, when he's uh, tired, seems to be always slow. Other than that, have a nice day, night, sleep, whatever. Bye. Fuck off.